We're on the Kirby Research Station uh, for the University of New England. It's a, uh, about an 800 hectare property, which runs predominantly sheep, but some grazing cattle as well. The RFID tag, which is the way in which we identify individual animals, is an electronic means for us to automatically record that individual animal, rather than to have to read one by one an ear tag and write that ear tag down, which is traditionally what has been done. Uh, in the past, sheep producers have only been able to manage their flocks on a group basis. And because we didn't have any way of individually identifying animals that was efficient in terms of time and labour, we, all we could ever gather was mob average information. We now have access to radio frequency identification technology in these tags. So that information that comes from that tag allows us to identify the individual accurately and you'll be surprising how inaccurate tags are when you're people are reading tags in a race. So with, with the use of RFID technology, we can now actually put a tag in the sheep's ear and have an individual electronic identification number for every animal in the flock. So this technology has taken the producers a, a huge distance in terms of their ability to manage animals. So my main role here is really to, to be collecting data and to do that it's essential that each sheep has an individual electronic ID. I collect all sorts of information on them regarding their weight, uh, any health problems they may have, how many lambs they're having, you, know, you name it and we collect it, even down to how many teeth they've got. It's a technology which has been around for a long time, I guess the the most familiar way in which it's used is probably with people who've got cats and dogs, uh, an implant in those cats and dogs which identifies them. That technology is the same technology as we're now applying in livestock. So the radio frequency identification tag has a little transponder in it which is excited by when we put a, a tag reader beside it. It's a 16 digit number that's individual for every tag that's produced in Australia. Animal welfare is a really important part of the research that we do here and a lot of the information that we collect can be used to improve the animal's welfare. So if a sheep is continually fly struck, we record that and we look at the reasons why she might be fly struck. So using that information we can then look at other sheep which have similar traits to the ewe involved Then we know that we should be able to pull them out and treat them to prevent them from getting fly struck as well. We have the capacities to put what are at the moment fairly large tags on the animals that can actually monitor from GPS satellites the position of the animals. We have the capacities to uh, manage pasture. The technology is changing so quickly that my guess is within five years a lot of that technology is, is possibly be, to be used on, the pro on properties. My job would be impossible without the technology that we have. Um, it would take far too long to record all this information about each individual sheep and there'd be too much error involved with reading an ear tag and writing it down. Information gives you a lot of power to make decisions, you make really good informed decisions. The best thing about my job is I get to be outside a lot and that's really great on the beautiful sunny days that we have up here in the New England and then when it's raining I get to go inside and do some report writing which suits me perfectly. 